We could all use some encouragement during our dark times and when we need it, we are grateful for those who tell their stories to be an encouragement to us. Before we jump into our story today, I wanna to remind you to please subscribe and share. Also, if you'd like to join my private Facebook group, you can do that and it's called Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle talk show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. On today's episode, we're going to be interviewing John Wood, an author and advocate whose mission is to be salt and light to the world and the disability community. John, thanks so much for joining us today. Pauline, thank you for having me on. We know that you are someone who is wanting to encourage people. And I'm so excited to tell your story because encouragement is a huge part of what we need as humans. And so I want to allow our audience to get to know you a little bit better. If you can briefly tell us about who you are and what you do. Well, I'm John and I am 25 years old. I am a spina bifida warrior. I am the author of three books, one of which has been physically published. I am still waiting on two to be published in the near future. I run a nonprofit organization called As Told From The Wheelchair. It will be for spina bifida awareness in the Northwest Florida area. I run two YouTube channels. One is de dedicated to advocacy and one is dedicated to my books and telling my life story. Awesome. And I am a disability miracle. Okay, what, what does that mean? I was only given two hours to live. And somehow, by the grace of God, I've lived, I will be 26 in just a couple of days. Wow. Wow. Yes. What do you think helped you live? My faith. My faith in God. I'm a very faithful person, and I, you know, I gave my heart to God fully when I was 14 years of age. And I believe that God's hand has been on my life for the past. 26 years and has allowed, he has allowed me to be a blessing to others and has allowed me to in turn tell my life story without hindrance. And would you say that that was the reason you chose, that you chose and had the courage to put your story out there in a larger platform like a book? Yes. I had the idea since 2017. And it wasn't until one night when I couldn't sleep due to disability related issues that I sat down at the computer and started typing. And by the time I figured it was enough, I had seven chapters written. And so when I finished the book, it, it, felt, it felt like I'd accomplished what my life was there for. Wow. But I feel like, I, I still feel like today I could do more. That's amazing. Uh, what's the name of your book if people were interested in purchasing it? The name of my book is called A Fight to Survive. So if they want a copy of the book, they have to email me correct or directly and I will purchase their copy. And okay. Have it sent to them. Okay. So we'll make sure that your email is in the show notes so people can refer okay. to that if they're interested in getting your book. As an author and as an advocate, I want to ask you what your message is to a various different audiences. So the first message okay. I want to ask you about is what is your message to the disability community? Don't give up. We have situations that we go through every day and it's up to us as people with disabilities to take those situations, face them head on and come out better at the end because I always say that your situation may be hard, but there's always someone like me ready to lift you up again. 
we are disability uplifters, not disability Debbie Downers, as I call it. Awesome. And what is your message to people who you advocate to on behalf of the disability community? Be kind to us because we, we are people who go through struggles every single day. And these people that, these are people that look up to us as people with disabilities fighting for our lives and to tell our story. People need to understand that we're not diseases. We are advocates. We are advocating to help you better our lives. And in terms of advocacy, what is the number one issue that you advocate for? Disability rights. Each person with a disability has the right to basic human functions, basic human needs, the right to vote, the right to drive, the right to win school, college, have a job, and also in turn be advocates in their own communities. I advocate with people in various different situations. I actually am advocating with a spina bifida warrior right now who lives in Kona, who I'm helping her start a nonprofit or a chapter of the association in Kona and also in Oahu. Oh, wow. So you're in Florida and you're reaching all the way to where I live in Hawaii. That's amazing. Not only am I advocating for the state of Florida in that aspect, we have an advocate leader in Virginia who's helping out as well. I, I wanted to know what your message is to the world in general. So I know in a, in a kind of morbid way, but what would you write, what would you have them write on your tombstone? That's a funny question. I haven't really thought about this until a few years ago when I almost died from a kidney infection. And that question is funny because what I would have written on my tombstone after that would be, I advocated till I was blue in the face. Because in turn, that's exactly what I do. I advocate until I'm as blue as the shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> I advocate until I turn teal. Because that's what I have to do as an advocate. I am advocating for people like you and myself to be disability salt and light. Because as disabled people, we have the right every single day to go out and live our daily lives and tell our story without hindrance. And when you say salt and light, um, I am also a believer. And so I understand what that means. But maybe for our audience, and, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on what salt and light means to you. What salt and light means to me is that we are paving the way for others like us to tell our story without hindrance. We are a light to the community. We are the bright shining light at the end of a tunnel. Like picture your disability as a tunnel and the light at the end of the tunnel is your disability coming to the fore, coming forth. Your story is coming to the forefront and you're basically in the tunnel right now trying to reach that light. And the light is going further and further and further. And as advocates, we have to fight and get to that light at the end of the tunnel. I actually did a blog post on this on my advocacy website about a year ago. Okay. And what is your advocacy website? My advocacy website is a Wix website, but I've named it as told from the wheelchair. And you just are about to launch an advocacy course. Can you tell us a little bit about that? In a nutshell, my friend Miguel and I started a disability advocacy course to tell you the different ways to, that you can advocate for yourself and give you the tools in turn to be able to advocate for yourself as well as others in your situation. We're launching the course back up on May 11th at two o'clock. Amazing. And how could someone attend that course? Currently, we will be utilizing Zoom for lectures and the rest of our classwork and other items will be through Google Classroom. Okay, and is there a cost to participate? There is no cost. The course is absolutely free. For those of you who are watching this, if you're somebody with a disability or if you are an advocate of people with disabilities, this would be a great course to attend because I think there is a certain way of advocating that is more effective than others. 
and understanding the various ways to advocate um, gives uh, something that it fits every personality. So if you're more of a behind the scenes kind of person and you don't wanna be out front, then there may be information of ways you can advocate for your personality. But if you're someone who wants to be up on the you know, front line, picketing and doing sit-ins, there's probably a space for you in that too. Every form of advocacy is important and has a time and place for it. Um, but it is also so, um, it's so useful to understand that no matter who you are or where you are, what kind of personality you have, that advocacy is something you can all participate in. What would be your final message of encouragement for anybody watching this right now? Just know that there's hope because as an advocate, I've learned to be able to tell my story with hindrance and my message to you is to tell your story without a hindrance because I'm gonna say this quote one more time and it's very pertinent to me today as it is, as it was a few years ago. Your situation that you're going through may be hard, but there's always gonna be somebody like me that's gonna be there to lift you up when you're having a down day, when things are not going as you plan them to be because things do not go as we plan them to be and it's up to us to be better at the end of that situation. John, thank you so much for being with us here today. I'd love to hear from our viewers. Comment below, let us know what words of encouragement you would give to somebody who is facing adversity right now. I want to um, thank John for being our guest today and to you, the viewers, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to get in more deep meaningful conversation, you can join my private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, be blessed. Mm -hmm.